Why do y'all keep asking if we was Chris Rock? Why don't y'all ask if we was Will Smith? Everybody always coming from Chris Rock perspective to try to make Will Smith the bad guy. Never say he was bad. So you saying if I was Chris Rock, I would never be Chris Rock. I'm never finna be Chris Rock. That motherfucker got on stage and slapped the fuck out that nigga. And, and he just ain't know what to do. And guess what? His wife was rooting in the crowd. That's who I'm finna be, his wife. Cause guess what? A nigga talk about me being bald head. Bitch, I was bald head before, but my hair just grew back because I was using these new growth oils. But my hair is long now. But I remember how it felt at that time. So let's, guess what? If a nigga talk about me being bald head, my nigga gonna slap the fuck out his ass and he better hope he don't get shot up in his ass. The type of guys that I date, they don't play like that. So that's all he got was a smack. He lucky that's all he got. I would never be Chris Rock. <laughs> oh, slippers or something else. All right, so let's check out the comments. I love and agree with every word she said. They need to leave Will alone. He did right. He did right by what? By getting emotional, walking up stay on stage in front of millions of people and smacking Chris Rock? No. He did not do right. Should have sat his butt down somewhere. Get help. Next comment says he's so perplexed. He doesn't know what to think. I'm seriously still confused if this is uh, a skit or was she honestly, was this the interview? Because he looks as lost as I was. I'm like, what the, what the heck is going on here? His facial expression control is everything. Yep. You definitely got to stay stoic, buddy. <laughs> she has me at the hair growth oil and shot him in the ass. <laughs> and the blue fluffy shoes. She was fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What is going on? LMAO. Suki, that neighbor who you don't mind sitting on the porch chilling with because you know she's going to keep you entertained. She definitely looks like a handful. She definitely looks like she would be out there talking shit about every body she definitely looks like she would be in the shit with everybody as well <laughs> finally suki is hilarious and she's not even <laughs> trying <laughs> uh, look I, she was pretty funny I, that, I i wasn't sure if it was real or not but she was <laughs> actually at me freaking dying <laughs> so my thoughts was chris i mean was will smith right of course not of all of the ways that he possibly could have handled that situation, he picked the most bombastic and egregious of all of the possibilities that he had in front of millions. As he accepted an Oscar, he made a scene, then got himself banned from the Oscars for the next 10 years or however long it is. And... As big of a movie star as he is, he will never live down the shame. So did he do right? Of course not. Find another way to 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 defend your wife's honor. And it was such a mild joke. I mean, like, who really cares? No, of course he didn't. And I'm more than convinced that that is a big reason why we see so many black athletes date white women too, or date outside their race. You know, there's a dynamic with, you know, these white athletic teams because white men own those teams. They try to mask it as preference. Oh, I just prefer to date outside my race. But it's not really you preferring them. It's really you using, you know, I'm going to use white women as an example. It's really you using white women as pawns. Oh, if the white man dates white women and I date white women, I'm that much closer to being just like the white man. No. But you, you see how she immediately disqualifies the actual answer. So you ask somebody, they tell you, no, it's not about your preference. Clearly not. No. It's the fact that you have a white or whatever race boss, so you want a white or whatever race woman. So it, it can't be what it is that you like. No, it has to be something else that helps to protect my ego. You know, people, like people get really antsy and get really hurt when they're excluded. When they're outside of the preference and they're excluded from that preference, they tend to lash out or they tend to, 
you know, take extreme measures to protect their ego. So rather than look or take accountability, look inside, what can I do to put myself in a better position so I can date a guy like that? No, you are only doing this because you want to be like your white boss. Silly. All right, let's take a look at some of these comments. Chris says, OMG, it's like a candy store. I personally haven't been yet, and I am dying. I have a trip planned for the end of this year. Guys, if anyone wants George, please hit me up in the comment section or message me directly because the more, the merrier. Let's go to Thailand. Don't don't worry. I'm, I'm coming. Don't worry. I'll be there. Don't you worry best place on earth I, I haven't visited uh colombia yet so i'm gonna hold off judgment but amazing place great place yeah uh, i'm okay to say that lala says 15 trips over five years now married living in au it's like a dream absolutely bro i Look, I just discovered this stuff myself, so I can't pretend as if I was on this years and years back. I did date a girl from overseas for a while, but more power to you, my friend. I'm happy for you. It's worth it. Absolutely. Not just for in terms of monetary value that the bot, I mean, the U.S. dollar is stronger than the bot. It's the experience Getting yourself outside of the norm, outside of the United States to see how the rest of the world actually is. It is absolutely worth it. I recommend anyone to travel. I need my passport. Yes, you do. A passport is a privilege. So if you have that privilege here in the U.S., I recommend that you get it. Use it whenever you have the opportunity. And finally... Marco Bernzan says, what's an L? Just curious. An L means loss, but I'm not sure that anybody in this video was catching any sorts of L because there definitely were some guys that would be sitting at home lonely on a Friday night that are having the time of their life in this video. So amazing. 
But uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure you drop a like, you know, visit down in the comment section. I'm a new channel and I drop videos almost every day here. So please, anything that you can do to help. But thanks again, guys.